Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm just opening two Lightseekers Kindred Rift Packs. Now, Lightseekers is a game that I recently got into because a shop here in the UK called Home Bargains had the starter decks in for 79p. So I went really hard into buying into the game. And then someone on Instagram told me that another shop called One Below has started getting them in as well. So I went to the shop the other day and just to see if it had anything different. Well, for the sake of a pound, in all of these starter decks, you get a booster pack. So for, so for the sake of a pound, it's kind of like you get a booster pack for a pound and then give the deck to someone else and try and get them to play, you know? Uh, so that, that seemed interesting. So I thought, well, look at that and see if they have anything interesting. And to my surprise, they had the original starter decks, which were different to the ones that uh, Home Bargains had gotten in. So we got the Storm, Astral and Dread starter decks. And they didn't have the other three, which are Tech, Fire and Nature, I think. So I'm going to have to go back and have a look again. But since we bought the three decks for a pound each, I thought we may as well buy two packs just to round it up to a fiver. I'll open these on another video just so I can kind of go in depth in what the cards are in there. And uh, preferably I can pick up the other three decks and do an opening on all of them, which is what I originally wanted to do with the original Home Bargains decks. But as I never got around to making the video, uh, I thought, screw it, we'll just play the game. We'll just open everything and do that. So now we're doing the opening this way. So... These contain 39 Enhanced Reality Trading Cards. As you can see on the back, this means it comes with one promo card, which is uh, part of the reason why I bought two, we're just hoping to get one of each. Three booster packs in each, and two limited edition foil item cards. Now, what's interesting about these is, these, as I said, these were a pound each. These were a pound each for a pack, and you get three packs in these pound each packs. So that's pretty good, isn't it? So let's see what we got in them. Another reason why I thought there was no point doing the opening on the original starter decks we got was because I didn't know much about the game and I thought, um, you know, what's the point in in going through these decks of a game I don't know a lot about and trying to talk about them. Uh, we've played a, a bit of the game now. It was quite a while ago, so I'm hoping to recall, like, you know, I'm hoping to use my best sort of uh, recollection to, to talk you through this, this stuff, but... Um, yeah, let's see what we get. So this is Rift Pack number one. So the promo we got was Weapon Master. So this is a defendability. Uh, it heals for the amount in the corner. And you move one item, one equipped item from another hero to their deck. And then the foils are Thornleaf Crossbow. That's quite a nice little artwork, isn't it? Uh, attack ability, one damage. You gain one additional action if you have 15 or more health. That is pretty good. It's a pretty good card. It costs two, but it's not bad at all. And the second is Nitro Hammer. It's a little tech weapon. Attack ability, three damage. You take one damage. Seems fair enough. Okay, so there's, there's the promos for that first pack. Now let's look at the three Kindred boosters we got. Now Kindred is the third set, whereas these starter decks are the first set. These do have a rarity in them called a Mythical Rare. What you might notice on the cards as I'm opening the packs is that there is no way to actually tell what the rarity of the card is. So I'm just going to have to use my best judgment to try and recall if we do get a Mythic, uh, because they aren't hollow. They aren't necessarily hollow anyway. And we've only seen one of these so far from about nine packs. And that was uh, the other guy I was doing stuff with uh, that got one in. But So here's hoping we can get one today. We've got six packs. Um, I can't really remember what the ratio is. I don't think it says on the pack how much you're supposed to get. How many you're supposed to get, rather. But yeah, so I'm, I'm really just trying to remember... From my vague memory, uh, what these cards do, and if anything is uh, whatever rarity. So we've got Vortex Charger. Corner damage to your target. You may move one combo card from your deck to your hand. That is pretty good. So there's no damage, no damage, no damage, three damage. And you may move one combo card from your deck to your hand. That's, I mean, searching your combos is pretty good, I guess. Um, Summoner of Storms, one damage. Increase this by two for each elemental buff you have in play to a maximum of six. That's not bad at all. Uh, Lumbering Behemoth. I was going to go straight past this guy because he's in one of the starter decks. But I will tell you what he does. Corners one to three. Rotate this one step forward whenever a buff expires. Corner four does that much damage to the target. So you're going to expire three buffs. And then the next turn it's going to turn onto this eight. Do that eight damage. Got Greedy Gas Bag. Greedy gas bag. Okay, guys, we got burn. Uh, that means when this card is used, it is taken out the game. Oh, God, that's a good card. So move all combos from your discard pile to your deck. That's a pretty good card. No wonder it burns itself. Recycle all of your 
combos. Okay, so X corner two, heal equal to the number of location buffs you have in play. I don't think that's something we've come across yet. Damage your target equal to the number of um, or co and corner four, it damages your target equal to the number of location buffs you have in place. That's interesting, isn't it? So it heals and it burns. Next, we have Ice Feather Mystic. Rotate one. That's a card from the pack, obviously. Rotate one of your action buffs two steps forward. And if you draw on the card this turn, gain one additional action. That is an insane card. That is a really good card. Uh, we've got Cyclic Touch. When you get attacked, the attacker takes corner damage and moves one card from their hand to their deck. Uh, Tyrax Gunner Guard. When any other hero attacks, they take the corner damage. And then it turns, I believe. So that's pretty good. Like, I mean, you're just forcing your opponent to like, take a big whomp in four damage just to attack you. Feasting Skeetos was in the one of the starter decks as well, but it's just four damage. If the recipient has uh, seven or more cards in the hand, you heal for three. Didn't see that come off. Deal three separate hits of two damage to any heroes. The same hero cannot be cut selected more than twice. This cannot be increased by effect. And the damage is dealt before the next hero is selected. So that's just a multi-way game card. We've got Imbued Breastplate. You cannot take more than 10 damage from a single hit. That's pretty good because then you've got cards, uh, like combo cards in like the tech deck and stuff like that, like Nuke. Where you're going to take 17 damage in one go. So you just reduce that to 10. And a rare there is Umbron Barkeep. Which is a really cool generic card. Two healing. Draw two cards. If your enemy is holding more cards than you. Okay so I just looked it up. We got no mythic in that pack. I kind of thought maybe the Ice Feather Mystic was. Since it was the cover card. And you know it's a pretty good card. But no. I actually don't know what the. Like I say. I don't know how to tell rarity on these cards. There's nothing on them that tells you what the rarity actually is. So. Uh, I don't actually even know what the rare is. I just know that this is the hollow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay. So, there's a rare in there somewhere. But, yeah. Cool. I mean, it's nice that they have a physical and digital card database online. But when you go and look up a particular card, it still doesn't actually tell you what the rarity is. The only real way to do it is to search it, the name of the card, and each different type of rarity until something comes up. <laughs> so, next pack. We got Vault Vandal. Three damage. Increase this by the number of water buffs you have in play. That seems pretty good. We've got Life Leecher. Two healing. One damage to your target. Your enemy moves one card from their hand to the deck. Umbron Barkeep. We've seen him before. Oak Thorn Rider. Three damage. Increase this by one for each uh, buff of a different family you have in play. So, this is a new mechanic they brought in in this set. These symbols here are families, which are just additional... It's sort of like an additional kind of thing to the, the different elements that each of the cards can have. Um, kind of just something to make it a little bit more confusing. But it means that decks can kind of slide over each other. Like you might have nature and fire with the same family or whatever. Um, Citadel safe house. Defendability. Draw one card. Corner two. Cards cannot deal more damage than than three to you. That's pretty good. That's, that's okay. So that limits you to taking three damage or at least forces your opponent to try and play around it if they are going to do significantly more than three damage. So we've got Scatterbot VO1. We've got Corners 1 and 3 deal damage to your target. So 4 and 3. Corners 2 and 4, you take the damage. So it's really up to you whether you think that it's worth, if, if that much damage is worth doing or whether you could get that damage dealt with a different card that doesn't deal damage to yourself. We got Umbron Sergeant. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Move all Umbron cards to your hand, and put the others back in the same order. Gain healing equal to the number of Umbron cards revealed. That is awesome. That is a really good card. So, wow. So, you just add. I mean, if you st you got to stack your deck with Umbron stuff, obviously. But I mean, you can reveal and, and get three of them. Add three to your hand. Go plus three, and then gain three healing. That's pretty pretty cool. So we've got Deluge Drifter. Other heroes cannot play location cards. If it expires, draw a card. Depends what you're playing against, really, doesn't it? Blast Fuel Battery. Take one damage. Move up to three tech cards from your hand to your deck and draw a card for each plus two. So you could draw, draw five cards off that. Um, you know, that could just reload your deck, basically. Taming the Earth. At the start of your turn, draw cards equal to the number of location buffs you have in play. 
This only rotates you who have any rotation buffs in play. Okay. Flame Chained Inferno. Corners 1 to 3. Instead of discarding, store elemental cards under this card. And on corner 4, you deal 5 damage to the target and increase this by the number of stored cards. That could be really good. Especially if your opponent's going off just before you kind of get this off. There's a really nice artwork on this. Really nice hollow. Defendability, one healing if you have 20 or less health. And draw one card. Okay, so that's cool. That's uh, uh, a nice pair of hollows there, but I don't believe there was a mythic in that pack either. Is the third time the charm for this rift pack? Let's see. I do find I do find it weirdly hard to kind of get a grip on the uh, foil on this on these packs. I don't know why. It's not really. It doesn't feel molecularly any different to you know other booster packs. But here we go. All right, it's ripped. Crushing Charger. If the recipient has eight or more cards in the hand, move them to the deck and then move the top five of their cards from the deck to the hand. That's cool. Wandering Starformer. Now, this is a card I really like the look of. Really nice artwork. Four damage. If your last discarded card is solar, you draw a card. Rockbound Guardian. Burn it if it's discarded. Three healing. Move an elemental card from your discard pile to your deck for each location you have in play. Now, we haven't seen a lot of locations. We saw that... Uh, we saw that... Um, gate thing. That castle gate thing, where was that? Some Brum Barkeep. This, uh... There it is. We saw this. That's a location. But have we seen any others? I don't think so. Bramble Spike Hunter. Corner damage to your target. Restart when you attack. So, you kind of have to wait for it. And it's going to do that 3 damage. Uh, and if you attack, it restarts. But... If you get that early in the game, you can just be drawing cards and waiting for it to go off. Okay, so, next up. Was I putting the rest of these cards somewhere? Was I just putting them on here? I don't know. <laughs> sorry, I kind of got sorry, I kind of got distracted there. I kind of got interrupted during the video. I'm not really, <laughs> I can't really remember what I was doing. Okay, uh, Creeble Pyromancers, 3 damage. Increases by 3. If the recipient played a combo on the last turn or has a combo buff in play, that's nice, kind of count as combos, I guess. Uh, we've got Radiant Flame. Corner damage to your target, gain two additional actions. That's that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty, pretty good. Like, <laughs> that's pretty good. It is what it is. It's pretty good. Okay, so burn this uh, when you've played it. Instead of discarding, move lightning action cards to the bottom of your deck. Okay, interesting. Dusk Bloom Borrower, 4 damage, increases by 4 if the recipient's deck is empty. Interesting. 8 damage, heal yourself for 4. That's a combo, that one. Not bad at all, I guess. Nature's Fury, a uh, tier of brine. Brainy? Briny? Defendability of uh, remove one of your buffs to heal for 3. Okay, cool. Terranos. Uh, you can't wield items. Um, it's the first hero we've seen, isn't it? Um, you cannot wield items. Remove one of your elemental buffs to heal for four. That's pretty good. And the last card we have is Flare Main Prowler. That looks fucking pretty cool. That looks pretty damn cool. Corner damage to your target. Gain additional action. Awesome. Awesome. Really, really good stuff. Yeah, those cards were in that pack, weren't they? So these are our three hollows. As far as I can understand it from doing a quick glance over the rest of the imbued breastplate, the dust glade tome, even though it is a uh, hollow, um, and I'm not sure what this one is yet. And the rare here in this last pack was the tier of Brini or tier of Brini or however you would pronounce that. So it's just three rares there. That's that pack down. Some very interesting stuff. So that's one pack down. No mythics. So all this pack needs to do to be better is have a mythic in it, in any of the three packs. But we'll see what we're in store for. So this kind of this is kind of flap at the back, rather than this just this lip just being stuck over, and it it does get in the way a little bit. 
Okay, so we've got three packs and the promos on the top. The promo on the top is Weapon Master again, but it's hollow this time. I feel like we got cheated the first time now. <laughs> what a rip. I mean, I'll be honest, I kind of assumed it was going to be hollow in the first place. Uh, we got Weapon Master again. We got Moon Pearl Mace. That's really nice looking. Attack ability of one damage. Rotate one of your action buffs one step forward. That's cool. And Spin Blade 3000. Two damage. Increase this by one if you're holding less than three cards. Okay. Interesting. So, now we get into the packs, of course. Go for this one first. Everybody cross your fingers for a mythic. That's what we want to see here. Alright, we've got Fallen Guardian, the card whose artwork clickbaited me into the game because this was the cover on the Dread deck that uh, they had in Home Bargains originally. I was like, what is that? That looks cool as. And then obviously it isn't even a hero or anything. It's just a card they put on the front of the box. But anyway, Fallen, Garden, uh, Fallen Guardian does corner damage to your target and reduces damage received by that amount. So the first two are just dead, and then it reduces damage by two and does two damage, and so on. So that's pretty cool. Necro Dreadling. Burn it after it's used, two healing. Move up to two action cards from your discard pile to your deck. That's really good. Uh, Lush Lost Pond. Draw one card for every different valid element on your buffs in play. An order counts as all the elements you have access to. That's cool. Flameborn Tusker. Four damage attack. If you have buffs of at least two different valid elements in play and your deck is not empty, move this to your deck. An order counts as all elements it has access to. Oakthorn Rider we've seen already. Molten Fists. Deal corner damage to the attacker when you get attacked and the attack ability is corner damage. I, I, okay, oh yeah, it is a combo, right? I was going to say the numbers seemed a bit high on this for just a regular buff, but yeah, a combo buff. So that's pretty good. If you get attacked, it does whatever the damage is in the corner. And if you do attack, it does whatever damage is in the corner. Lightning Conduit again. Dusk Bloom Borrower. Beast Caller. Now, when a beast buff from your enemy, uh, you or your enemy controls, expires, draw a card. And if it was your buff, it gets placed on the bottom of your deck. That's pretty good. Bubble Nasher is the rare in this one. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a rare card, that is. Bubble Nasher, unique and burn. Remove your target's rightmost buff from their perspective when you play a combo. That's pretty interesting. Lord Blightvale, who are you? Okay. Okay, deal two damage to your target if you have three or more poison buffs in play. This cannot be increased by effect. Okay, interesting. And the hollow there is Battering Ram. At the start of your turn, deal corner damage to your target if you have six or more cards in their hand. And then it will rotate. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Bubble Nasher was our rare there. I'll just do a quick look. It was indeed Bubble Nasher the rare in that pack. At least we finally managed to start recognising stuff, I guess. It would help if there was just anything on the card that actually told you what the rarity was. I even messaged their Facebook page and they saw it and didn't reply. I don't think this game is still functional, but I digress. It would be nice if you replied to... To, 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 to something like that. So, Loyal Furhorn, 3 damage. If your last discarded card is a, kimchi, a, a, a Chimchu, you may return one of your buffs to your hand. Interesting. Twilight Oracle. Now, there's a nice artwork. It's stuff like this that makes me think I'm going to really like Astral. 2 healing. Draw one card face up. If it's not Luna, increase the healing by 2. Nice. Blast Bot. 4 damage. Choose, remove one location from the recipient. Dawn Wanderer, look at this guy. Dude. While your last discarded card is Luna, your enemy cannot play combos. While your last discarded card is Solar, reduce your combo cost by whatever is in the corner. That is cool. That is really, really cool. Malfunctioning Sentry. Remove a buff you control to move two cards from your enemy's hand to the deck. Not bad. Death Shroud, re reduce damage received by whatever's in the corner. Nice and straightforward. Overlook Defender. Instead of discarding, instead of discarding, store forest cards under this card, and it does not rotate this card. Reduce damage received by the amount and increase this by the number of cards stored under it. That's pretty good. 
Font of Misfortune. Cards in all heroes' discard piles have burn. Oh, killer. Okay. That's, that's, that is unfortunate. Corner one, damage to your target. The three goes to damage to your target. Cosmic Chaos. That's a big looking card. Look at that. Four damage. Discard the top three cards from the recipient's deck. If they include a combo, increase four more damage. That's really cool. Really cool. Got Flame Chained Inferno again. Etta of the Depths. And we got a Hollow Summoner of Storms. Let's take a look at Etta of the Depths. Remove one of your location buffs to deal four damage to another hero. Okay, nice and simple. That's pretty good. It's not a bad ability at all. And Etta would be our rare in that pack as well. Okay. So we're looking for the Mythic out of this last pack. We're really, really hoping now, because this will be the 15th pack I've had in total. Where, 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 with me and my friend Jamie, and he's pulled one Mythic. So it would be nice if I saw one, because... So, 13 of those packs will have been mine. So, let's see if we can get one. Vortex Charger. Blight Wraith. 3 damage. The recipient moves 2 defend cards from the hand to the deck. Ashwood Nurturer. 2 healings. Move a beast card from your deck to your hand. We've got Lava Tamer. 3 damage. You may move 1 fire elemental card from your deck to your hand. Are these all going to be attack and defense? 1 buff, 1 attack, 1 defend, 1 attack again. And then a Fallen Guardian again. Creeble Warcrier, 4 damage. If this card is used to pay for a combo attack or defend card, increase the damage of the combo by 1. Enlightenment, draw 3 cards face up. Each solar card revealed deals 2 damage to your target. Each lunar card heals you for 2. Nice, really good. Uh, we got a regular battering ram there. We got a supply carrier, 2 healing. Move up to 2 item cards from your deck to your hand. That's not bad at all. We got Arcane Investigator. That's a cool card. I think that's a rare. Nope, apparently he's not a rare. Let's just see what he does. Gain one additional action as this card enters play. Defendability. Look at the top card of your deck. You may move it to the bottom and gain an additional action. That's pretty good. So if you really need the card, you leave it there. If you don't need the card, you just get an additional action. Not bad. We've got Time Shifter. You may search your deck for a defend action card and draw it face up. If it's a tech card, you may play it without consuming an action. That's really good. So... Search your deck for a defend card and draw it. If it's a tech card, you may play it without consuming an action. Like that, just, just get, play, play a tech defend card for free from your deck. <laughs> it's basically what that card reads. But it also has the utility of using it for other things. While, you know, just searching for other things if your deck was like a mix. So that is a really good card. And the final card in the final pack is Thunder Brewer. Three damage. Deal 3 damage to your target if you play a combo while this card is on top of your discard pile. That is pretty good. So, I'm really not sure what the rare was there. Um, I'll have to have a look there, I think. Oh yeah, the rare was Time Shifter. So it, is, it does look like it's the card before the Hollow, but I'm pretty sure in one of the packs there was another card in between them. The Time Shifter, that's a nice rare to have. It's a pretty good card. It's a shame we haven't seen any Mythics at all. But, you know, there'll probably be some more packs. There'll be some more videos. Well, there will be more packs because we'll have the, the starter decks uh, packs to go through. But they didn't have Mythics in any other set. So that really relies on me buying more of these Rift packs or whatever. But, you know, there will be more Lightseekers videos to come. Uh, this the, It's a very interesting game, especially for how cheap you can get this stuff for. Places like One Below and such, where they just clearly have ordered it in really, really cheap to get rid of. And then, you know, they can just sell it for nothing. So it's a really, really cheap game right now. And it's really, really cool. So there might be some more packs in that I'm going to buy some of the decks that I already have. Possibly take the pack out of them and then give them to people who might be interested in playing the game. Rather than trying to get them into playing the game while the stuff is still in the shop. And having to play loads of games and cram it in so people still have the option of buying stuff. But either way, there will be more Lightseekers videos to come. I'm not sure how many. But right now, if you did enjoy this one, please do like, comment and subscribe and look out for more. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.